Hello everyone. Today I decided to make a little different video. Uh, we won't disassemble a laptop. Uh, this time we have a different problem. Uh, this is a Dell Inspiron N fifteen ten motherboard. The model is DG one five zero nine six nine seven dash one. The problem with this board is uh, when you plug the power adapter. I don't know, can you see good? The light goes off. This means we have a short on the board, so I decide to try and make a video and uh, I hope it's uh, helpful for someone. So the first thing we, we gotta do, we gotta measure a few things from the connector. I look all the USBs, the USBs are fine, so the problem is not the USB ports. So let's, I'll try to put the multimeter so you can see it, like this. Now the first thing we got to do is uh, we got to see is the, the power jack shorted to ground or not. So. Here is ground, that's the plus, so we don't have short ground. Uh, usually on the main power supply there is uh, two MOSFETs, but in this case I think uh, it's only one in here. So we'll measure the input of the MOSFET and the output of the MOSFET and uh, see is there a short or not. So on the input of the MOSFET we have no short and on the output yeah we have about uh, 9 ohms which means we have a short some somewhere after the first MOSFET uh, which is cutting down the power to prevent any other damages on the board sorry about that uh, now the easiest way to find a short is the, the brute force way. We're gonna use a power supply. We're gonna inject a little voltage on the output of the MOSFET and uh, we'll see if something gonna get hot so we can recognize it. Uh, we have a big cup here which sometimes felt and it's shorting to ground. We, we can measure the diode here we have a diode to see is he shorting the ground on uh, one side we have 0.586 which is okay and on the reverse we have nothing so basically the diode is okay now I'm gonna use my power supply we're gonna add a little isopropylic alcohol in here so we can see something shorting on this side or someplace else uh, my power supply is a little noisy I apologize about that let me try to fix the camera in here so we can see is something gonna start getting hot in here uh, I set the power supply to 18 volts and uh, I limit the current to about uh, 2 amps, which will be more than enough. So, right now we're gonna apply a voltage. Yeah, I hope you can see. I'll try to lower the camera even more. Sorry about the quality, but this cup here is actually burning hot. I'll try to add a little more alcohol and when I touch the leads it instantly vaporized so we'll remove that cap now and try to measure without it let me just dry the board a little bit
like that. Now, I prefer not to use hot air since we have a lot of plastic in here. So I'll add a little fresh solar here on both sides of the of the cap. And with a little bigger tip, we're gonna remove it. I'll try to show you on the camera. Just let me find my tweezers. Just touch both both sides, and the cap is gone. We wanna fix the pads like this. Let me try to wick it. Like this. Let's test first with the power supply. Do we have a short or not? No, we have no short. Now the board is taking 0 0.5 amps, which is which is fine. Now let's measure the cap since it is dissolved from the board. Yeah, the cap is on short. We got about 14 ohms. Now I have a spare board for parts. Just let me find the same cap. I'll try to remove it. Just a second. Okay. So we're gonna replace it. And try to test, of course. I try not to use hot air whenever it's possible. Sorry. Let's use a little flux. Like this. Clean the board a little bit. <laughs> now Let's try and test with the original adapter. You can see the light is still here. So probably that's the... Let's double check 
to see uh, are the voltages going to the board. So we're gonna flip it a little bit and like that. Let's see, do we have a Do we have some main voltages? Now here, yeah, we have 19 volts, which means the voltage is passing through the the main board here. Also, we have the 3.3 line and the 5 volt line. So yeah, we have 19 here. So pretty much. That was the whole problem. Now the only thing I gotta do, I gotta clean the thermal paste since the laptop is quite dirty. Uh, put the new thermal paste, reassemble everything and test it again. In that case, it was an easy problem. It was just uh, one cap which was on the main power uh, rail. In some other cases, they can be shorted uh, 3 volt line, 5 volt line, or something like that. So, as a first video, I hope you like it. Hope it's uh, helpful for someone. That's for me now. Like and subscribe if you like the video. Bye bye.